Hi everyone, Namaskar. This is Dr. Benikant. Welcome to my health channel. Today I'm going to talk about chicken gunia, which is also quite prevalent uh, these days along with dengue. Chicken gunia is a viral disease first described during an outbreak in Tanzania in 1952. The name chicken gunia is derived from a word in Kimakonda language, which means to become contorted. It describes the stoop appearance of sufferers with joint pain. This disease causes an estimated 3 million infections each year in more than 60 countries in Asia, Africa, Europe and Americas. And in India, last year in 2016, there were about 64,000 cases of chikungunya. And this year alone, the number of cases has crossed 22,000. Chikungunya is caused by chikungunya virus, which is an RNA virus that belongs to alpha virus genus of the family Togaviridae. The virus is transmitted from the human to human by the bites of infected female Aedes mosquitoes, more commonly by Aedes aegypti, which is also responsible for the spread of dengue fever, Zika fever, yellow fever, etc. and Aedes albopictus, which is also known as Asian tiger mosquito. They bite throughout their time, more commonly in early morning and late afternoon. After the bite of an infected mosquito, the onset of illness occurs usually between 4 to 8 days but can range from 2 to 12 days. Well, the characteristic symptoms are sudden onset of high fever, joint pain and rash. Other symptoms like headache, fatigue, conjunctivitis and digestive complaints like nausea, vomiting, pain in abdomen and diarrhea may also occur. The fever is usually above 102 degree Fahrenheit and the last for about a week to 10 days. The joint pain and stiffness can be debilitating, often resulting in near immobility. Typically joints are affected symmetrically in the arms and legs. It usually lasts for a few weeks or months, but in some cases, joint pain may last for several years. Rest occurs in about 40 to 50 percent of cases, generally as a maculopapular rest, occurring two to five days after the onset of symptoms. Now I'm going to tell you about the diagnosis of chikungunya. It's based on clinical, epidemiological and laboratory criteria. Blood or serological tests like ELISA may confirm the presence of IgM and IgG anti-chikungunya antibodies. Virus can also be isolated from the blood by methods like RT-PCR which stands for reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. Well, the treatment of chikungunya is mainly supportive care to relieve the symptoms like fever and joint pain by paracetamol and fluids. There is no antiviral drug treatment or vaccines available as of now. So prevention is the best way to beat this disease. That is personal protection against mosquito bites and controlling the population of mosquito by eliminating its habitats, which I already talked in my previous video about the dengue fever. I hope you guys have already watched that video. If not, here is the link. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe and share. Wish you all good health. See you again. Jai Hind.